Okay, well, you go to PonyLumen.com, make your pony. In this case, it's going to be, well, just this random ass thing we're going to make today. And um, I'm not going to work very hard on it, but I'm just going to add basic things, make it look a little different. And then, yeah, once you do that, you download the file. But first, got to look up something. It's called Blender Source Tools. And then we go there. And then um, you download it to your thing, but you don't unzip it, but you just download it. Um, let's see if there's anything new to it. Okay. Well, looks like there isn't much new to it. But there is quite a bit new to it. But, well, not much newer than the version that I got anyways. Alright. Well, after that, um, this is my scene I'm working on. Um, after that, we go to Blender, open it up. And... Um, what you would then do is you go to user preferences and install from file once you download the zip for Blender Source Tools. And then uh, once you do that, it should all be there and all be ready. Then you just uh, delete all the things in the scene and then center the camera. Oh, I like to center the camera. Then you download your pony model, which I'm going to do right now just to show you how to import it and all that. And while it's downloading, I'm going to just check on my Tumblr real quick. It's just, um,. Just see what's on my tumbler. Okay, should be done now. And there's my pony. Ooh! And we gotta open it up. And then once we do that, we gotta have a file to place all the things. So once we have a file to place all the things, you put the pony that you just downloaded. I'm gonna call it pleb OC thing. And then once you do that, you put it in there. And then you have the empty scene. And then, um,. You import all the individual pieces, ah, and then um, yeah, just gotta find it. Hold on a second, just gotta find it. I think we're gonna find. Oh, there it is. Okay, so always and always put in Pony SMD first. VTX is just the vertex information, which is not needed to play with the pony. Um, also, one thing I forgot to tell you is to auto run from Python scripts should be enabled. And then um, what we're going to do next is um, we're going to import all the individual pieces, like the eyes, the eyelashes, all that stuff. If I'm going to speed up this whole part right here. So I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so once you got all that done, you want to get to all the textures that are textures for the pony and invert them vertically. So you select them all, rotate, and then click vi flip vertically in paint. Um, so you just, you know, I'm just going to show you this part here and just do all that. Um, do it for all the ponies. Now, for the main pony texture, you're going to also want to add a pink circle below the head. That circle ensures that the mouth has a texture um, so that it's, it's not going to be black. And um, once you do that, um, that's pretty much it. Just flip all the textures upside down. Don't rotate them, just like flip them vertically. That's it. That's all you need to do. Um, sometimes the tails are textures and the hairs are textures, but if they're just a solid color, don't worry about it. Oh, we're not in cycles render. You need to make sure that we're in cycles render. Um, and if you have a GPU, uh, set it to GPU. Otherwise, uh, just use CPU if you don't have a GPU. Um, if you don't know if you have a GPU, just keep it to CPU. Um, I always open up the node editor because that's the easiest way to edit the textures. So then what we're going to do is just very simple. We're just going to import all the textures from that we just got for the pony into the, um, into the blender scene. And then, yeah. Once we do that, I'm going to speed this part up, but once we do that, it will um, look a lot nicer. Okay, we're going to get back to you once we're done speeding it up.
Okay, so once you imported everything else, uh, you notice the bones are a mess except for the main body bones. These bones are the extremities like the tails, the hair, the horns, the wings. Um, and so you're going to edit them and put them where they should be. Um, usually what you do is you go to pose mode and then you will just kind of move them around, find out where they are, and then uh, edit them into their proper place as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be close. As close as you can make it. It's best to get it as close, like as accurate as you can, but it doesn't need to be perfect, although it does help if it's super spot on. But it doesn't need to be, it just needs to be as close as you can make it. This, this kind of takes a little bit of time, but once you get all the bones imported and properly set, then everything else will just work and you can animate your pony. But I will say that you're going to need to make your own shape keys to animate the face because there is no bones to control the mouth, the eyes, or the tongue, or the teeth. Those are all separate. You can re-rig it to have those bones, but I found it's a little easier to do shape keys, although I'm going to figure out a system later to make um, to make it all to where I can use bones. Right now I'm still a moderate amateur. Like I'm not completely a noob, but I don't exactly know how to make like IK rigs and stuff. But all right, that's pretty much this video. Um, yeah. Okay, we're pretty much there.